Good afternoon. Just be seated again. Welcome. So, yeah, it's a very strange setting, no? Good. <laughs> very far away from each other, but still very close, but not too close. So I, I would like to welcome you to this um, Diploma Award Ceremony in the Corona style, and unfortunately not the beer Corona, but the COVID-19 style. So uh, also welcome for the people at home and uh, to be, of course, present with this uh, important moment. Unfortunately, we cannot have you here physically, but uh, we are still happy to have you at least via the, the live stream with us. So the idea today is, of course, that we are going to celebrate the fact that each of you have a diploma now, or at least a master's diploma, which is, of course, part of, the, um, uh, of your work, which you have been doing the last so many years. And of course, again, it was a strange finishing of the last uh, six months because everything was quite strange. And also for us as lecturers and professors, it was a very strange end of the year. But I can imagine that for, for you as a student who need to face all these kind of changes, it was at least um, as strange as for us. So welcome again. It is, of course, clearly the um, end of the journey. And that's what they typically then do in this type of presentation, they say, yeah, it's now the end of your learning journey. Now your real life starts. Everything before was not real, apparently, at that time. And we are extremely happy that you are, of course, a graduate from us and uh, that you ended this journey successfully. All this type of stuff is, of course, true. And, of course, it's also not true because, obviously, next to the end of this journey, it's, of course, much more, and that's actually, I think, much more important than having the end of something. It's actually the beginning of something new. Each of you will start something. Each of you will start working. Each of you will do maybe study extra stuff. Um, normally, I also say you go and have some travel plans. This is also a difficult one nowadays, so in a sense, I just wonder sometimes, what can you still do after you graduate? The only thing you can do is either work or start crying at home, and that's the only things which are left over. So um, I hope you start working or doing other stuff, but clearly, eh, what, and that's where the end of the learning journey, uh, which we say is actually not correct, because it's just the start of your learning journey as well. So eh, the learning, in a sense, should never end, and that's also an open door, I'm aware of that. But in practice, if you look at everything and everything the coming years, it will still be a new journey. You will be moving around, you will be moving to other places, you will be making choices which might not always be correct. But of course, that's good because you need to hit walls several times and that's also part of the learning. So um, I hope that based on the degree and the diploma you're receiving today, uh, which is of course the, an important step towards this uh, journey into the future, that at least it gives you the right toolbox, the right elements, the, um, the right um, tools, methods, um, attitudes and skills to actually cope your remaining part of your more job journey into the future. Having said that, um, we are now more or less going to be doing something extremely difficult. It's going to be the handing over of diplomas. And it means that we have to do that in a somehow 1.5 meter fashion. Um, and this 1.5 meter fashion is going to be quite challenging because we need to give something to you. Huh? So um, let's agree upon something. We don't kiss. We don't shake hands. Um, any variation of a elbow or a foot or whatever is fine, as long as it's not too high or too, too dangerous, you can do whatever you want. But uh, let's try to keep it a bit into that, that possible way. Now, um, what is going to be the setup of the diploma? Um, at a certain point, you will hear your name. Uh, we hope that you recognize your own name. And in terms, in, in case this would go wrong, we also have a, a nice... Uh, uh, slide with your name on it. If you hear your name, please come up to the stage and then we preferably would like to have you walk up here. You walk somewhere until you see a white dot. You might not have seen it yet, but there is a white dot over there. And then my uh, colleague, Professor van der Vleuten, my nice assistant of today, will be basically handing over the diploma. And you are still going to be 
stuck to that point. Uh, we will be somehow around you, not too close, not too far away, otherwise we don't fit into the picture, and there will be a picture uh, taken by a photographer. Afterwards, you, we say thank you, and you can move back to your seat on the other place. And then it keeps on going until we are done. Is this clear? Okay, so it's not too difficult. You come up over there, you go down there, white step, uh, white dot, and just wait until you get your diploma and the uh, person in front of us says, done. Okay, good. So we got started with the uh, diplomas and the first diploma series I would like to um, uh, start uh, moving with is the human technology interaction, the masters of human technology interaction. And uh, we have a number of candidates here. We have um, not everybody here, unfortunately, but we have a, few, uh, a nice uh, number of people over here. And our first candidate is Norma Arazola Herrera. So please come over. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Jeroen Berens. Congratulations. Interesting. Huh. Oh. Bo Drummen. Thank you. Our next candidate is Ruth Emaus. Now we go to Yunzhen Gong. <laughs> Chichian Huang. Congratulations. Anna Kok. Which is actually with cum laude, so extra congratulations. Sorry, I did. Then we have a uh, ten lux.
Our next candidate is uh, Fan Fei Liu. Now we go to Toby Serir. <laughs> Too much show, so. Okay, now we go to Armand Starczewski. What with, with great appreciation, Armand. So congratulations again. Now we go to Geert van der Velden. <laughs> that was a proficient. And now we go to the last candidate of uh, HDI, Fena Witt. So these were all the candidates from the Human Technology Interaction Program. Congratulations um, also to your parents and to have a, a degree finished. Congratulations on that. I hope you will see, of course, nice things to happen with this degree. And um, let's go to the next program of today, which is the Innovation Sciences. Only a few candidates are here today for Innovation Sciences, but of course, also we would like to congratulate them already up front. So the first candidate is... Um, um, Job van den Broek. <laughs> now we go to Fiona Groenendaal. Next candidate is Bo Hogerwerf. <laughs> then we go to Sandeep Kesarapu. Which also has a we also has a double degree with set. <laughs> and now we move forward to Lisa Spearings, double degree with innovation management. Of course, innovation sciences. Okay, again, congratulations to also the innovation sciences graduates. All the best into the future. And um, 
Unfortunately, we are yeah, with this kind of new setup. We are leading, gradually moving a bit to the end of the of the show today. Now, um, uh, some some service messages I think which are important as well. You see this red sweater here. It almost looks like I'm a fashion expert now, but still, it's not really the case. So you can get a, a sweater as an alumni. You can get a, a sweater of this, uh, the TOE hoodie. You can get them after this uh, ceremony at the Metaforum 1.370, if you want one. Yeah, that also is the starting point. If you would like to have one, you can pick it up over there, which is the meeting room next to the uh, ASA, uh, the administration of the students' administration. Okay, so you can pick it up over there, and then, um, um, of course, um, you can wear this and be a good ambassador of the university, because, of course, being part of the uh, alumni of the university also means that you are a part of this big community of alumni, meaning that you are also going to be spreading the world about how good this university is and what, how much fun this period was and these kind of things, which is, of course, the important part. Now, of course, and that's what, the, what we also have to say, and I put it on the, on the, on the slides immediately for you to be able to read it. Um, obviously, the, the, the scientific degree of, uh, of a master, eh, what you now receive, this MSc degree. It is not only the fun part, meaning to spread the word how fun it was, but also about being, of course, um, a uh, trustworthy source and being, of course, able to um, commit yourself to the standards of uh, scientific integrity. You can read up everything over here. So it's about trustworthiness, intellectual honesty, openness, independence, societal responsibility. If you feel like, hey, I think this is something I did not read throughout my program, you can also go back to the Netherlands Code of Conduct or for research integrity, or you can also go to the Eindhoven Code, which you basically signed already up front when you started here with us, and you can reread it again um, to, be, um, to, to see what your duties are there as well. I'm not going to get into much more detail than this, of course, which is uh, important. It, has, uh, it creates some value of your degree as well, and it creates expectations, and this is basically covered in this um, scientific code of conduct. Next to that, I also would like you to, to mention that there is a Facebook group of uh, alumni of innovation sciences. If you feel like, hey, I would like to stick to, or at least I would like to connect to uh, all my previous colleagues and I want to be part of the alumni group, go ahead in, and try to register or register if you did not do that. And the same is also for HDI, the LinkedIn groups and so on and so on. Please connect to us. Stick to us, connect to us, reach out to us in any possible kind of uh, way you want to hear something more from us. Additionally, of course, there is this ITEM Alumni Association, which is organizing quite a lot of events, quite a lot of uh, activities in terms of coming back, reaching out, doing stuff, fun stuff in terms of company visits. If you want to become a member, you can basically go to alumni.net and visit the uh, item a.nl, this item association.nl, and you go there and you register and you will be becoming part of the big alumni organization of your specific program. And of course, if it doesn't work out, you can always send emails to whatever you want. And if it doesn't work out, you can also reach out to us and then we will help out where needed. For the rest, and this is really going to the end, towards the end, I only want to uh, congratulate you again. I'm extremely happy to see that you are here, that you dared to come over to the university in these difficult times. I'm extremely happy to see that we are uh, having quite a nice uh, number of new diplomas. I'm aware that this was not the most fun moment to stop, but on the other hand, it can only get better from now onwards. So in that sense, uh, congratulations, all the best in your future career. Reach out to us, connect to us where needed, and um, be a good ambassador for the university. Congratulations again, and thank you for being here, and um, I hope to see you later again. Congratulations. Thank you. We do a group picture, that's true, yeah, we, we still do a group picture, we are more or less do, able to do that, but we try to do that outside, yeah? So um, let's do it a little bit in a controlled fashion so that we don't get too close to each other. 
because it gets on the picture and then we start getting complaints if we get too close to each other. Huh? So please go out like that, take a little bit of distance and set up over there and then there will be a group picture as well. Don't forget your diploma, eh? that's important now. 